Uganda's economy relies heavily on agriculture, most of which is subsistence. But for the men and women behind the agriculture production, they've always been left behind in the decision-making process. Today, that problem was being addressed as smallholder farmers got the opportunity to actively participate in the country's food security situation. For instance, Vedco, we have worked with farmers for 25 years now, and we have observed how intelligent they are and how they can find lasting solutions, and they know what they're doing. The farmers are calling upon the government to intervene in the agriculture production if this country is to realize its full agriculture potential. Amuria farmers, they do a lot for agriculture, but marketing, nothing. <laughs> Until when you have a farm so that you can create a policy, you come up with a fixed price. Because people, we are going to leave out this agriculture because of you. When you go like in banks for, for agriculture production, what they tell you now, we have to pick a title. For us, you we don't have a title. Among the issues discussed at the production level were poor quality and fake seeds on the market, lack of irrigation, expensive fertilizers and vaccines, inadequate extension services, and the need to mitigate effects of climate change, among others. The farmers also say they face post-production problems such as poor infrastructure and lack of electricity, high transport costs and lack of post-harvest storage facilities, among others. They should also help us get down onto these feed shops and check out on these feeds that are supplied so that we don't get people losing out on their profitability like farmers with adulterated feeds, feeds that are not up to standard. The meeting comes amid a backdrop of rising food prices that have resulted in hunger and malnutrition in many parts of the country. Anna Tkunda, NTV Tonight.